You the vertical that time, Paul George throwing it down. And Ren Benyama launches it from deep. An absolute bomb from three-point range. Here's Rice. Here's the Matumbo. And a hand Los Angeles with the triple. The real. Come at us, and we're coming right back at you. A little back and forth from long range. I love it. That's a terrific answer there. Gil just Alexander with it. A three-pointer, no good. 52 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. Oscar Knocks Robertson. down the three ball. Three points. And generally, Robertson's a guy that likes to play free throw line and below, but here's a time where he steps out and launches from beyond. Pass to Rice. And a great assist by Gilgis Alexander as that one goes in. And Miami leads by 16. Thirty seconds left to play here in the fourth. Here's Rice. Down to five on the shot clock. Whoops, there's the 24-second shot clock violation, so they'll turn it over. Home team ball. Now, Gilgis Alexander. And so Miami takes this one by a big margin. And the outcome of this one was never a doubt. And boy, they really put in a support. Thanks for tuning in this Wednesday, 2K Sports. Presents the NBA. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and a pair of Hall of Famers with us, Doris Burke and David Aldridge. And so the tip off, it's Miami. Here's the screen. And Gilgis Alexander, here we go. Boy, Shea Gilgis Alexander just slicing his way inside. No doubt on the finish. 
Greg, isn't it amazing the way Gilgis Alexander has polished off his game? The footwork, Kevin, is impeccable. Three-level score makes every shot imaginable. And what's scary, this guy still has another level to get to. Here's Filipowski. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. You know what, though? Sometimes you can be too open. I think it may have surprised him, and that's why he missed. And a wide-open look for Gilgis Alexander. Traps in the tray. Gilgis Alexander's got five now. Oh, how about the vision by Wimbenyama there? Always looking to get teammates involved. Deflects the pass to the right side. Here's Rice. Releases from the wing and drills it. And hitting the mid-range jumper here early gives the defense just another thing to think about. They're basically saying, you're going to have to guard us at every point on the floor tonight if you're going to have any chance. Pastor Robertson. Nice passing here by Los Angeles. Five on the clock. Here's Rice. No good again that time. It's been a quick start for Miami. And again, Miami with the triple. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor. And give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity. This team has attacked every chance they've gotten. Elbow shot. And that one hits back iron. Boy, a miss like that will drive any score crazy, especially with the defender giving a cushion. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And you know what? They've been on a nice run here, had the ability to widen the gap. Now they are rolling. This is a dominant stretch. I am so impressed with how they've played together as a unit over this last stretch. First make of the day should finally give them a little confidence. It's usually interesting. After a bit of a struggle, does the first bucket get you into a little rhythm now? Shots good by Rice. Yeah, we're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. There is an imagination, a creativity. This guy's passing drives the offense. Miami leading by 12. There's the screen. Driving inside. And he makes the bucket, gets the whistle, and now a three-point play chance here for him. And this offense is in a perfect rhythm, and you can see how they're finishing their plays. Well, what great game planning, what great execution. It doesn't get much better than this. Rice, no good. And here's Wen Benyama. He'll bring it up for Miami. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Wen Benyama gets the bucket. And boy, Wen Benyama has every shot in the bag. How about the touch there? Out to the wing. Filipowski. Good on the three-point shot. Lepowski's got seven points in the game. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now George. After the miss three from Shea Gilgis Alexander. Here's Robertson. And he can't jam it through. Rembenyama down low. Hey, yo, yo, right here, right here. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. Cuts off the pass. Here's Rice. He's got 11. Gilgis Alexander surveying the D. And Benyama, right side. Out, now out. a timeout called by Miami. Let's give him a big round of applause. It's nine seconds separating the shot clock and game. 
Lock at six. Price, no good. Robertson outside. So it's Miami sitting with a comfortable lead up by 14. A look at the field goal percentage numbers tells the story of what tough defense they're playing today. We'll get right back. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard, but uh, plenty of time left for a comeback. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for Miami? absolutely dialed in from beyond the arc so far in this one. The defense is surrendering the long-range shot here early on. And the other thing I love, how they're making the extra pass. They're not settling for the first shot. They're going from good to great. Yeah, he just punched the ticket on that one. That'll get the job done. Powerful two-hand jam. Richmond outside. Pass to Dang. The rebound by Paul George. Pressured that shot by getting a hand up just as good as a block. And he did it without fouling, and that's become an art. Changing shots without making contact. Here's Rice. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. And he makes it look so easy. Rice's fluid shooting form really helps him on those long-range missiles. Richmond outside. From downtown, it's hauled in by Los Angeles. Pass to Rice. And here's Robertson outside. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Oh, playmaking isn't a focus for Rice, but this opening just too good to not make it. And the layup's good off the glass. This guy is a pick-your-poison kind of player. Very hard defensively to cover all your bases with him. Over to the wing. Here's the three. Matumbo misses. Miami leading by eight. Pass to Brown. Now Richmond, defended by George. Back to Brown, and finished off by Brown. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. And it's blocked by Brown. It's going to be out of bounds. Los Angeles will retain possession. Los Angeles calls timeout. All right, look to the court. On defense, Miami. 17 points was their biggest margin. Ren Benyama with it. He's picked up by Irving. Poke loose. From the arc, and that one's good from Havlicek. Havlicek's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Right side, Kirilenko. And a wide-open look for Ben Benyama. And again, Los Angeles with the triple. Sometimes you watch Wimbiyama and think this guy is a cheat code, hitting threes at well over seven feet tall. Pass to Irving. Back to Richmond. Shot clock at six. Outside Irving. Let's go. And misses it off the right side of the rim. And here's Los Angeles. They're on a 14-6 run. You know, here we are, Greg, looking at Victor Rembenyama. I mean, <laughs> can he get any taller? Yeah. <laughs> well, he's already seven foot four, Kevin. But yes, what's amazing is that I still 
don't think he's wrong, which is scary for the rest of the league. The shot by Holiday, no good. Miami leading by six. Dang, looking it over. Richmond with it. It's a pick by Ogauskas. Front pass the arc. It's good from long range. Ilgowskis has got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. It's Kirilenko on the wing. Back to Havlicek. And there's the drive. And the dunk by Havlicek. And guys, Havlicek in a nutshell. Just constant motion, unparalleled stamina. This guy will wear you out. Outside Irving. Pass to Ilgowskis. Brown outside. It's a pick by Ilgowskis. Let's it go from the wing. A nice shot by Brown. Brown's got his second basket of the game. Well, you won't see that kind of shot fall very often. Thank your lucky stars. Applejack outside. To the paint. A three from Wembenyama. And so it's Miami. Ahead by nine as the quarter comes to a close. Their shooting has been the big key. Their percentage from the field so far has been terrific. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And for those of you just tuning in, thanks for being with us. The second half of this game is still to play. You know, one thing that has stood out tonight is his scoring. You know, he's kept attacking even when they've been trailing. Pass to Rice. Back to Gildas Alexander. Now Matumbo lets it go from deep. The rebound by Victor Rembenyama. The wide open look here for Holiday. Hits the three-point bomb. The vision by Wimbenyama there. Always looking to get teammates involved. Now Wimbenyama. Pass to Gilgis Alexander. Back to Wimbenyama. And Wimbenyama throws it down. Wimbenyama is a specimen going at the rim there with a purpose. Here's Havlicek. And he commits the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. Second half of basketball, just over a minute played so far. Here's Wembenyama. That one drops for him. Wembenyama's got five points so far. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wemby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. Here's Wembenyama. Off target with his three. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Ball's not loose. Six to shoot. Kirilenko. Yes, and the foul. It's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And you've got to love the all-around game Kirilenko has. He's terrific at both ends, and he can play at any pace. Makes an impact all over the floor. To the inside. Here's Havlicek. And they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. For Los Angeles, they have gone one for one, making their previous attempt at the line. Yeah, and among the many things to like about Hondo, he is strictly about the team. Willing to take on any role, he just wants to win. Ice. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. Pick works well there. Not much resistance from the deep. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. 
Oh, and he went for the two-hander on the slam using some muscle. Some urgency from him there, sure. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Matumbo really is an amazing defender. He just takes pride in contesting every shot. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. He's to have a check. It's Yurlinko on the wing. Ren Benyama, a screen. The tray. And that one is off. Miami with the ball. 17 points was their biggest margin. Man, you look at the hype surrounding Wembenyama. Greg, it's unreal. One of the best prospect profiles really since LeBron. Almost unfair to try and live up to the expectations. But he's got the tools to be one of the best to ever play. And they force the shot clock violation. Great team. And, and those are the kinds of mistakes that are magnified time out, time out. when we're talking about a game down the stretch. Now a timeout called by Miami. We've gone about three and a half minutes into the third now. It's George on the wing. And the three ball is good. George has got the lead up to two now for Los Angeles. And you talk about fighting your way back into a game. They've shown a lot of grit in this comeback. Yeah, to start off with so many mistakes and still now find a way where everything's working, it allows their momentum and confidence to continue to build. They set the pick. Out to the right wing. Inside. And that one's good, George. George has got five points now in the quarter. We are talking about a proficient, efficient scorer in Paul George. Go to work, sir. The screen from Brown. Irving. And Irving throws it down. Making the most of the screen. That's how it's done. And it's in the perfect spot, Greg. Frees him up to get all the way to the bucket. The defense, no fighting through the pick, no rotation. My goodness! Right wing, the shot by Filipowski, no good. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Miami. And here's Richmond to the middle, and four seconds on the clock. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. And he'll be shooting his first free throw of the game here. And, guys, it's crazy. He really was a late bloomer. You know, Irving didn't have the big-time amateur career you hear about with some stars. But, boy, he's more than made up for it. And as we finish the third quarter, it's still close. Both teams trading baskets. Miami leads by three. And when... 46. And with these teams locked in a very close contest, this fourth quarter promises to be a good one. So it's Miami now. Three-point lead. Down low. Here's Matumbo. The shot's good. Gilgis Alexander making the play. And Matumbo doesn't get bothered easily by contact. It's almost as if he embraces the challenge of converting through it. And talk about putting some extra on it. That dunk was way over the top. Close game or not, he's going to finish firm when he gets the space. Pass to Rice. Rembenyama looking it over. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And Miami leads by five. And standing easily over seven feet. When Wimby gets that ball near the hoop, literally nothing a defender can do. And that was.
was the right call. When, when you need a basket, go to the guys you trust the most. Well, you've got to earn trust and equity by making shots. Nice delivery there. Ooh. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Rice, no good. Well, being aggressive and assertive, the big man snatching the rebound. About a minute and a half through the fourth quarter now. Six on the shot clock. Wembenyama. And Wembenyama throws it down. Well, as soon as you recognize a size mismatch, you have to attack. And now we've got the intentional foul. That's his first personal foul. And here is Los Angeles now. They trail by seven. Inside. And stolen by Wembenyama. Moving the ball is certainly important, but forcing passes like that is simply bad basketball. Launches a three. It's hauled in by George. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. It's to Matumbo. Here's Filipowski. Shoots over Gilgis Alexander. Robertson with it. Second shot opportunity. And here is Matumbo. Clock at four. Let's the three fly. And it's Miami with the rebound. 17 points was their biggest margin. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Matumbo. Back to Gilgis Alexander. And the dunk by Gilgis Alexander. Oh, that's a great find by Matumbo. A guy who always seems to make the right play to the middle. Here's George. And it's George finishing it off. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Now, here's Gilgis Alexander. Pass to Smith. And Smith with the stuff. And how about that instant? response. Don't try to throw down on his team. It just gets them fired up. And that's the result. They launch an assault on the basket. Matumbo sets a screen. One twenty-five left in the fourth quarter. Or the three. Sinks the three-pointer. Matumbo's got five points now in the quarter. And you can feel the excitement in the building. Both of these teams pouring it off. There's been a bit of a flurry here late, and this game may come down to which side gets a stop or two. Los Angeles trails by eight. One oh two left in the fourth quarter. And the basket by Matumbo. And this team encourages Matumbo to take those shots, knowing how efficient he can be inside. A shot by George, wide open. Kicks it out to Robertson. And an intentional foul right there. Really no idea why you're fouling in a situation like that. You know, maybe there's some bad blood between those two. Back to Robertson. Pass to Filipowski. Misses the three. And you will not see this guy miss many of those. He's one of the keys to their floor spacing. This one for three. And it's Miami with the rebound. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Outside, Gilgis Alexander. Double team on Gilgis Alexander. Five to shoot. Pass to Rice. Robertson with the steal. Puts up a deep three. That shot misses. And so it's Miami winning this one. A narrow win under difficult circumstances, Greg, as the visiting team. They really 